count to Gary Ward, two outs in the ninth. He's one strike away from 300 victories. What is up? What is up? How you doing? What's going on? Thanks for joining us here on the MLB Network Twitch page. I'm Robert Flores, one of the anchors at MLB Network, also host MLB Central during the season. Thanks for joining us. So with the offseason here, that means two things. Uh, One, I'm back to working just two days a week. Score. Two, uh, it's also a chance to play some major leaguers from around the bigs, and go head-to-head against them in MLB The Show. And we are pleased to be joined by one of the best pitchers in the game right now. Also, he's an avid gamer. He's got his own page right here on Twitch. If you're if you're watching our page, then you probably already know about his page. From the Chicago White Sox, pitcher Lucas Giolito. Lucas, how you doing, man? Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. I can hear you. Hey, How's thanks. Going, thanks for joining us, man. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to get, get into this. I'm actually, I just fired up my stream about to uh, welcome in my community. There we go. As well. Uh, let me get this going here. Yeah. So as I said, uh, Lucas, here's what I would recommend. If you, what up, what up, you we're, we're doing, um, we, we're doing uh, squad streaming so you can see both of us or you can open up another tab. And, f- and find Lucas's page. He's at General Geo. So twitch.tv slash General Geo. And we'll go back and forth. We're going to play a game of uh, uh, Diamond Dynasty. Uh, and then we will, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about the season, talk about the off season, And uh, if your questions are good enough, we'll fire some questions from the chat to Lucas Giolito. So let me get my, um, let me get my team squared away. Now, Lucas, obviously... You have been busy. You were busy in the summer and busy in the fall, so you didn't get a chance really to to, to grind through the MLB, the show, and, and build up your team and stuff. But you do have a pretty good team already. I do. My team's not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm going to unveil it right here. Let me okay. pop over onto this screen. As you can see, we're all diamonded out. Yeah. Not the best diamonds, not all 99 overalls, but we're, right. all, we're doing all right. Well, and we got some, we got some White Sox love as well. I got TA yes. at short. I got Luis Robert in center. I got the man himself, Jose Abreu, who I'm actually gonna sub in at first base. All right, for the sake of this game, I think. So I but think I what I'm going to do, uh, I, I'm going to t- I'm going to use live series players featuring uh, some of the Chicago White Sox biggest rivals. So a lot of Twins, a lot of uh, Chicago Cubs. Those sort of things. Um, so let me see here. All right. So let me try to fill. You know what? Let me just filter. Uh, let me find. Who do I have in the way of twins? Oops. 
Okay. Oh no. What's that? Nightbot, do not. Nightbot, do not. <laughs> silence uh mlb network trying to post <laughs> links i don't know how to fix that oh yeah you you don't you don't want to do that you don't want to do that uh okay how do we... live series players okay boom okay so there's byron but okay i'm gonna use i'm gonna use nelson cruz in left i'm gonna use byron buxton in center and uh, I'm going to use Max Kepler in right, okay? So who's first? Okay. Uh, all right, let me get back to the... Let me try some filters here. Oops, sorry. All right, so Lucas, tell me what you've been doing this offseason, man. Been hanging out. Um, obviously, we're in the middle of a pandemic still, so... Right. I uh, just got to be careful about travel and everything like that. Uh, I've been getting my work in uh, out in Sacramento... Uh, physical therapy, l weightlifting, conditioning, throwing, and a lot of gaming on the side. There you know, you I've go. been on Twitch here and there, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, now, obviously, you 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 play a variety of games, including MLB The Show. Um, primarily, however, I get the feeling you play a lot of first-person shooters, right? Yeah, yeah. FPSs are, are definitely my my games of choice. Been playing a lot of Call of Duty, and and you know we just had a Fortnite tournament uh, through the MLBPA on nice. Sunday and Monday. Uh, teamed up with my boy Danny Mendick, and unfortunately we lost in the first round, but we lost the eventual winners of the entire thing. So not too yeah. bad. Uh, once again, thank you for joining us here on the MLB Network Twitch page. I'm Robert Flores, Lucas Giolito of the Chicago White Sox. Joining us, uh, once again, you can find his page, twitch.tv slash General Geo. And also, Lucas, in addition to, um, you know, your working out and the gaming, I know you and your wife are heavily involved in a, in a project that means a whole lot to, to you, and you feature it prominently in your own stream. Tell us about it. Exclamation point OKP. I know that the, uh, the platoon here, General Geo community, they know about that. Uh, yeah, Orphan Kitten Project. My wife is one of the presidents of the organization. Uh, it's a local student-run nonprofit here in, in Davis, the Northern California area, where basically uh, veterinary students, they run, this, they run this program where they rescue orphan kittens, neonatals. A lot of them are very sick. They'll nurture them back to health. We actually do a lot of stuff out of our own house here. We got an incubator in the kitchen that oh, wow. that that we have to put the babies in uh, when they don't have their mother cat to keep them warm and uh, help them get back to where they need to be. But uh, yeah, you know, coordinating fosters and adoptions, uh, surgeries, all that kind of stuff. So any support is always much appreciated. And you have a link on your when you when you're streaming on your page. You have a link that that people can go to and and donate and get some more information, right? Yeah, yeah. You can go to orphankittenproject.org. Uh, okay. They're on in Instagram at orphankittenproject. Um, yeah, pretty much hitting hitting all the uh, different notes there. There you go. Um, all right, I am my player is almost ready. My team rather is almost ready. I'm going to get. Uh, I think I'm going to put Wilson Contreras behind the plate uh for me okay all right uh you know for the sake of time look i've got some maxed out diamonds on the bench okay i kept my <laughs> finest francisco lindor at short he still plays for cleveland he's still technically a member of the cleveland or organization granted it is the finest card but we're gonna leave it in there um uh, okay so we're just gonna play a friendly and uh we should be ready to go I will send you an invite, okay? All right. I got my 99 overall Giolito card ready yes, to rock. Yes, yes. I love it. Uh, I with am going full eyes. here. Uh, let's see here. Play with friends. Uh, okay. And once again... <laughs> no flow trolling Gio by putting in Contreras. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I gave up a gigantic grand slam to him a couple years oh, ago. Oh, did you? Mm hmm What were the circumstances behind that? Um... I mean, anytime White Sox are, are facing the Cubs, it's yeah. it's a lot of eyes on it. So it, that inning just did not go my way. Oh, here we go. Got the challenge. Yep, we're good to go. We're ready to go now. All right, so we're back. 
Oh, look at that. I added a wipe to oh. my stream. I can't. Okay, I can't accept the challenge from this area. Oh, I think you probably, maybe you have to be in Diamond Dynasty. That's what it is. That's what it is. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got some people. UC Davis Pride from Halos Nation. You're familiar with nice. that area. Yeah, that's where we, we're currently in Davis. My wife's at UC Davis Veterinary School. Okay, all right. Yeah, it's a nice little, it's, it's such a change of pace. I grew up in Los Angeles, so um, being up here, it's like a lot of farmland, and it's very quiet. Um, okay, we've got to play, we've got to play at uh, guaranteed rate. Now, you're playing, right. our, now, t your, your Diamond Dynasty team, we're about to look at it here. It does have a lot of White Sox in your current teammates, but not exclusive to your current teammates, yes? No, yeah. I, I mean, I have all the White Sox cards, but a lot of them like, are not competitive. You know what okay. I mean? They're, they're, they're bronzes and whatnot. So it's a, it's a combination of various diamond cards I've picked up over the years. Okay. All right. So we're going to have... Oh, we need to kind of massage this line up a little bit i've got javi baez playing second batting second rizzo at first uh nelson cruz is hitting cleanup and then we've got uh, okay we're good to go uh by the way this is the first time i'm en embarrassed to admit this but this is the first time that uh that i'm realizing that wilson has two l's in his name wilson w-i-l-l-s-o-n yep. that's uh that's my bad Oh man, I'm getting. I, I love all, guys in chat. I'm loving these questions about Lance Lynn and Adam Eaton. Yes, but I'm not going to answer any of them right now. Okay. If right. Roflo wants to ask me a question, I'll answer it. Okay. All right. Well, let me be the first to ask you, Lance Lynn, joining your rotation. Oh, pumped. So excited. I mean, he's he's a workhorse, man. Like that's. I when I see. Oh, Darvish on the hill. Look at mm -hmm. that. Uh, when I see Lance Lynn and his ability to throw over 100 pitches every single start, going to the seventh inning, uh, pretty much every start, that's like what I strive to be. Throwing 200 innings every year, like I can't wait to be working with him and, and learn from him. And there's almost a, uh, oh. there's almost a simplicity to his to his attack. I mean, you know what you're going to get, right? Oh, yeah. No, I'm late. And there's Kepler. And uh, it appears that uh, Adam Eaton is returning uh, to the Chicago White Sox. Uh, what, what was your reaction when you, when you heard that? I mean, for me... I've I haven't heard uh, I've haven't heard anything other than good things about Adam. I mean, he just he won a World Series a couple yeah. of years ago with the Nationals. I mean, he's bringing a veteran presence. He's oh my, it's I'm the worst multitasker, by the way. <laughs> it is kind of difficult because I mean we're we're trying to have a conversation and we're playing at yeah. the same time. So I think I'm going to double sound. I don't know why, but it's I'm not going to be able to fix it. Uh, yeah, I mean, he brings that veteran presence, which is greatly needed in our clubhouse. I think that uh, he'll slide in perfectly. Obviously, right field is an area that we need some help in, so I'm looking forward to meeting him. I, you know, I once a few years ago I was traded for. I him, was about I was to bad. say you, uh, <laughs> you, you guys have some have some shared history with one another. Oh, I did take. not go. Good take. Oh, blue. I think you may have went. Mm mm. And uh, the it, it, for those of you in the MLB Network twat, uh, uh, chat, there is a a link where you can uh, watch the squad stream. Uh oh, Rexy, I don't think that has. Oh, the multi stream. Yes. So hey, Ron, how you doing? Now I stream heavily and just about nightly um, on my Facebook page, facebookcom slash realrowflow. So I think some of the people that. Uh, Usually watch my stream on Facebook are joining us here. So a special shout out to those of you uh, joining us uh, for the first time in a long time. Um, how, you know, how happy are you for, for Jose Abreu and, and the off season, the awards? He got another one today, winning the American League Hank Aaron Award. Get out of play. Yeah, he just, yeah, I was about to mention that he just won the Hank Aaron Award. Uh, he's, he's the best, best teammate ever 
fantastic guy on and off the field. I mean, what he did last year. Dang it. Cut piece. No, yeah, I know. What what makes what makes Jose Abreu a great teammate? For him, it's what he does what he does for the younger guys, uh, especially the younger Latin guys. So I'm mm-hmm. talking Moncada, Eloy, yeah. Luis Robert. I mean, he takes those guys under his wing. He shows them. Oh, here we go. I got to try and do two things at once. I know. He shows them Ooh. like, all right, this is this is the right way to do it. Um, you know, a little story time. Uh, right when Eloy came over. Uh, Abreu immediately starts working with him, and like to this day, for the the few years that that we've all been together now, uh, Aloy and Abreu go out for like afternoon runs around the track, like all the time oh, wow. on the warning track. All right. Okay. Da. I I was struck. Now you were. Um, when we, in the early stages of the, of the lockdown, you took part in the, uh, the players league in MLB, the show, and you made it all the way to the finals. Um, eventually losing to the winner, Blake Snell. Uh, what would, what were your takeaways, uh, from that and, you know, getting a chance to chat and getting to know the guys in really a different way? I thought it was a fantastic event overall, like everything about it um for me i always love to mix in competition and everything i do Mm -hmm. and i mean for us like us baseball players like missing out on that competition during during that period during the pandemic um i thought it was just a a call there dude that was not a strike oh no that's that's definitely (laughs) a strike uh I'm sorry nope. to interrupt. No, you're good. And and so, yeah, just having that competition aspect really jumped out at me. And, like, since then, I've been, like, hunting for that. You know, I play a lot of Call of Duty, and nowadays I'm, like, always looking for tournaments and stuff yeah. to play in Call of Duty. Uh, but another side of it, too, is, like, kind of getting to know guys around the league. Some that I knew. Dang it. I got to get used to this. I haven't played in a while. But... Some guys I knew from playing against and, and meeting over the years. Right, right. And then other guys, uh, other guys I didn't know at all. And we're gaming online and, and you know, trash talking, having a good time, playing against each other. I got to be careful with this guy right yes, here. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Ooh. Oh, Blue. What is going on here? That's on the edge, throw flow. <laughs> oh, that's a nice pitch. That's a real nice pitch. I think, oh, ooh, yes, 99. I, now, w- was that a little bit of pitch sequencing there? Yes. That was very impressive. Yeah, I finally locked it in for one guy. <laughs> That's another guy I got to be careful of. I gave up a home run to Max Kepler in the first pitch of the uh, season. I was about to say, I remember him. Oh, my God. My... my. I, I I was a very I think the ball was in the glove when I swung when I swung. Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Yes, laddie, that was a good pitch. He is locked in. Okay. Oh, can't do three in a row. Ooh. All right. Oh, you're. Your your signature circle change. That was that was like a real pitch sequence. I'd throw him. When did you know that you could throw a change up as good as you can throw it? When did it kind of lock in and and the when, when, when was the light bulb moment for you with that pitch? I I say this kind of jokingly, but it's really got a lot of seriousness to it. Oh, I should, oh my god, that was right down the middle. Um. Uh, Tommy John gave me my changeup. Mm. Oh, that's a bad oh, pitch. Cr- yeah, but it, it's in a video game. That's a good uh, pitch. Yeah. It looks like a ball. Um, 
Oof. Oh, I thought I hit a homer. What's up, nope. Majestic Wit? How you doing? Let me just finish this AB. Yes, yes, you do that. Yep, with a horrible swing at a cutter out of the zone. So, uh, before Tommy John surgery, I was just a fastball curveball guy. I threw really hard. And then once I got TJ, I came back and in my throwing program, God, that looks like a strike forever. And in my throwing program, I started mixing and change up grips just to kind of break up the monotony of everything. Yeah. If that makes sense, like right. you're throwing a lot, but you're kind of um, kept to certain distances and, right. and you're slowly progressing out. And I'm like, well, let me kind of make a game out of this and start to work on something I know I'm not very good at. So I started mixing and change up grips throughout that. And then when I got back to throwing off a mound again, my changeup was like so much better than it was before the surgery. And so that was that was kind of the starting point and uh, just kept develop, developing it from there. Well, we've got a lot of people I know that ooh, that are just joining us in, in our chat. And I know you talked about Lance Lynn uh, joining your team and how excited you are. Um, so for the benefit of the people that were late, I'll ask it a different way. Yourself, Dallas, Lance, I mean, that's a, that's a pretty, that's a pretty formidable trio. I mean, just what are your, what do you think about the kind of the potential collective that you guys could form? Yeah, that's, that's a good trio. And then, and a lot of people that might not be like hardcore White Sox fans might not know what we have behind us three Damn. and it's a lot of talent a lot we got dylan cease who i think is going to have a nice breakout season this year uh we have michael kopech yes I for absolutely. people forget about him absolutely electric stuff and um more more on the way as well i think that ronaldo lopez uh who was in that eaton trade with me uh, I think that he's going to make some adjustments and, and get back to his best form. And, uh, you know, you can never have enough good starting pitching. No. Oh, my Lord. All right. I, I'm i all in my head now. You've got me all in my head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Don't hit him. Yeah. Beast Marine says Chai Sox have a stacked rotation, especially with Kopech. Yeah, I mean... He didn't. Uh, he didn't play uh, last season, and you know he had uh, he had Tommy John, right? So he's he's coming off of that. But I mean, you talk about who just raw ability. That dude can throw a billion. Oh yeah. He had he had one outing in spring training before spring training got banged, and he was like sitting a hundred to hundred and two for an inning. So that's just like a little taste of, of what he's got in store for us. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Well, Dutch, I, I, I would, I mean, I'll, I'll defer to, to Lucas here, but I, I would, the, the question of, no, the question of what's your favorite memory, it has to be the no-hitter, right? Favorite memory of your big league career, last year's no-hitter, right? I think the no-hitter takes the cake now, yeah. Don't quit pulling the change up, man. Yeah, the you know, it's that's a that's a tough one to beat. Oh good. Maybe when Lord. we when we win our World Series, that will beat it. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, uh you you guys between you guys just have so much young talent and and now you 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 add some more you sprinkle in some some veterans, Adam Eaton, Lance Lynn. Um, what, what was last year's, what was last year like for you in, in the sense of obviously the team had success, you had success, but when you put it in the context of just how weird last season was, what was that like? It was odd. Yes, it was, sorry. It was definitely very strange at first. The shortened spring training was, was tough for all of us. Um, playing with no fans early on was kind of hard to get used to. I, me in particular, like I had to really, Ooh. I had to really shake up my, um, my like warm up routine to, to get my adrenaline going before start. Really? Yeah. And so 
uh, as it went on, I think we just got used to it. You know, like yeah. being in pro baseball, especially coming up through the minor leagues, you have to adapt to like a lot of weird situations. Oh, there we go. Am I going to get a base Ooh, hit? Ooh, that's well hit. Jeez, you were all over that. Just missed it on the PCI. Mm. So. Hey, I don't need I don't need people in the chat throwing out fake acquisitions by the White Sox right now. <laughs> what, are, what are they saying? Hey, you guys oh, signed we, Trevor Bauer. Yeah, we just signed this guy. Da, da, da. <laughs> don't oh. worry, I, I've I've got Ken Rosenthal's uh, Twitter handle up and and you <laughs> know, so I, I'm keeping re- keeping it refreshed. So we're 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 good. Nice. That'd be funny if something happened. Like, uh, while yeah, that would be. It would make some news. It would make some news. Um, how how much have you had a chance to to talk with Tony Larusa, or you know, how well did you know him before, oh, or anything yeah, like that? There's, um. So I I never uh, obviously I know who he is. Yes, Hall sure. of Fame manager, mm-hmm. but uh, I had never spoken with him or anything like that. Uh, Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh come on! Let's go, baby! What kind of hitter is Lucas Giolito in real life? Come on! Two two fifty hitter in twenty nineteen. Check okay. it. All right, I stand corrected. So, um, I've had the ch- I, I've had the chance to talk to him on the phone a few times now. Yeah, Uh-oh. there we go. We've got something going here. And all my conversations with him have been fantastic. I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting to work with him and the rest of the guys in spring training. I think he's got a lot of good stuff in store for us. Ooh. Well, you heard the, I mean, look, you, you've heard the criticism uh, or the, at least the skepticism of, you know, how is he going to relate to today's player and specifically, you know, your team, because so that you guys have a very young exciting core so what would oh come on is that gonna fall yes that is ridiculous hey nelson cruz how about a little hustle nelson cruz good night you, nelson cruz. you have him in left field i have him in left field yeah no, he's a dh man i know yeah now clearly jeez and how did you get that how did you hit that oh my lord i don't know i I have no idea. Jeez. Yeah, Rope, don't don't make me hang up on you here with that question. <laughs> well, you you know what, I, but you know what I'm saying. Like for for people that would, would I can wonder. assure you, I can assure you that will not be an issue. Good. I I I can assure you. Oh man, yeah, he's he's going to do a great job uh, managing our team. He's, I, you know, I don't want to like divulge too much about like yeah, my phone no, no, no. calls with him on a live Twitch stream, but, <laughs> yes. but it's been no, it's been nothing but great things. That's good. Talking about the direction we're going as an organization. All right. Oh, you leading off with the pitcher. That's not good. Uh, Imrod, I, I can't speak for Lucas, but I, I think, I mean, depending on on how the the format would be, I think Lucas, you would be up for another players tournament. Uh, of MLB the show, I, I think you got a you had a fun time, right? Absolutely. Whew. I'd be I'd be way in for sure. Yeah, I uh, you know I made it all the way to the finals last year. Yeah, you did. Uh, you know, just nobody had a shot against Blake Snell. I think that he he was just putting in in that work to uh, practice beforehand. Oh, I, why am I so? It's like I'm swinging in molasses. Good night. Oh, th- you're you're using the Lucas Giolito Players Tournament card, right? Yeah, in real life, I throw like 94, 95, but in this this video game, I throw 99, 100. So I'll take it. <laughs> uh oh, did I get it? I don't think I nope. got it. I didn't get it. Inside outed. Ah. All right, people are asking about your new pitching coach. What do Ooh. we need? To, what do we need to know? Cats, man. He's fantastic. Uh, just, you know, for me, that's my guy. He was my pitching coach in high school. Uh-oh. Jeez. Yeah, he was my pitching coach in high school. I've been working with him since I was 15 years old. So it's, I think it's, it's pretty awesome, to say the least, that 
you know, working with this guy in high school and now working with him in the big leagues. Um, him is my pitching coach, our entire team. He's already, since since being hired, been putting in off-season work with a lot of our pitchers, uh, remotely, of course. Yeah. That was a questionable call. I'll give you that one. Man, you're, vir- you're locked in right now. Virtual Lucas Giolito is locked in. Yeah, he's getting hot. Jeez. Uh, so All right, Manny. S- someone in our chat wants to know, what is your favorite pitch? Is it is it the changeup? No, fastball will always be my, my favorite pitch to throw okay. a high fastball. Yeah. But, th- but it is fun to throw a changeup and see guys swing and miss super early. Oh, there we go, man. Whoa. Oh, man. A little too early. Uh, without divulging any trade secrets, uh, who is the who's the one batter that really gives you trouble? Oh my goodness! There it that's is. Gone. Yep, that's yes, gone. sir. That's gone. I'm starting to recognize the cutter. You are. Wait, was that a cutter or a slider? Cutter. Yep, you sure are. Good night. Oh. Mm. God, that's a bad pitch. I tried to power swing. It's so small. <laughs> oh, did you? Have you been power swinging? No, that was my first attempt oh, at a power. Okay, swing. okay. So, so who's, who's who's a guy that gives you a lot of trouble? Um, I think that any pitcher could say Mike Trout, yeah. but I'll try to be a little more creative. Uh, honestly, Nelson Cruz. Okay. He's got, like, stupid power, but he's also a very disciplined hitter. Uh, he's the type of guy you got to really mix it up. I don't see how you guys keep it all straight. I mean, you just must be mentally fried after a start, right? Yeah, there's you, you, there's a lot of physical exertion, but it doesn't compare to where, where you're going mentally, especially if you pitch super deep and you have, like, stressful innings. It gets... It's pretty intense. So you're no hitter. When did you? Dang, dude. Take a, take a hack at something. Mm-mm. Oh, I walked you. Uh, when, did, when did you know that this might be a, a possibility? Do you remember the inning? After the sixth. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was six innings. And then I, I look at the lineup and it's like, I've walked one guy. I got to face the same lineup one more time. And it's like, all right, let's do this. That was that was the point. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Good night, I get nurse. It. You got it. Yes, sir. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no. No. No, not the base running. Oh, <laughs> da- oh my. I, I bailed you out. I remember the base running was was an issue in the uh, in the for in the a lot of us. Yeah, yeah, in the show league, dude. Yeah, Joey Bart's a guy that I think is going to make a big splash for the Giants. Yeah, he is. He's uh, highly regarded. Have uh, have you faced him? I'm sure, you have, right? No, no, not in real life because because we only faced in in division. Oh, last that's year. right, that's right. Yeah. Oh my I lord! Sure. Wilson oh, no. Contreras, may, take a. I mean, that's got to be stopped, dude. Uh, let's see. Who was your favorite player growing up? Uh, MVP Nation wants to know in our chat. Um, a couple. I was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up. Mm-hmm. My dad was a Yankees fan. Uh, I was also a David Wright fan. I don't know why I liked the New York teams when I was a kid. That's good base running. And then there. getting into the pitching side, uh, Justin Verlander. Okay. That was the guy I loved to watch him on TV. And then... Um, and then, like, historically, my favorite player. I, I kind of like, I have different categories for favorite players. And then, like, my favorite player ever is Bob Gibson. Mm. Did you get a chance to, uh... How? How is Lucas Giolito two for two, man? 
Come on. Yes. yes. That's ridiculous. Oh, come on. Video game Gilito says no uh, universal DH. Yeah. Jeez. Unbelievable. Oh, I see what you're trying to do. I see what you're trying to try. do. Uh, okay. I can't get out of this darn, this darn inning here. Oh, my yeah, Lord. Yeah. How? How? Man, you're on fire right now. You're... No. Jeez. I've tr- I miss all the ones down the middle. Twenty. Well, you're hitting everything that's on the corner. I try to dot, and you're all over it. Hey. Jeez. Besides uh, the south side, what is your favorite park to play in? Ooh. Oh, man. I really like inside inside parks. Uh, Houston is one of my favorites, even though it is a hitter park. I just like the feel in there. Yeah. Um, I, I'm really looking forward to pitching in Dodger Stadium at some point. We're, I think... Oh, my goodness. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm throwing up. 73 pitches now. I'm going to have to get loaded my bullpen up. up. Loaded up for the MVP. Oh, my goodness. All right. Here we go. Let's get out of this inning and salvage something. Oh, boy. Oh. Blue Jay uh, has, a, has a question about Luis Robert. What's it like to play with Luis Robert? Dang it. Uh, the question <laughs> made me late on that heater. Uh, <laughs> Luis is the man. And, what, and the thing that most impresses me, oh, no. Ah, I'm going to have to start a- uh, asking you like in-depth questions right before big pitches. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the thing that most impresses me about Luis is that is his desire to get better. Not just kind of be like, oh, you know, I'm top prospect. I'm the man and just kind of ride that. Like he legitimately wants to be one of the best. And the big thing that, that stands out to me with that is his work on his outfield defense. He's always out there taking fly balls and, and working on that outfield defense. And, that, and that's the sign of someone that's going to be good for a very long time. A guy that really takes pride in everything he does. And that front door slider. What the, what the Back. heck? Back door, excuse me. Now wait. Oh, because and from my point of view, it looks like the front. Okay, I took the circle change. Look, if you could just throw me a fastball right down the middle, that'd be that'd be great. Thank you. Not gonna happen. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> uh, Derek wants to know what has been the best advice you've gotten so far in your career. Best advice I've ever gotten. Hmm. Hmm. Oh my best goodness. Hundred. Jeez. I'd say the best advice I've ever gotten was don't be afraid to exit your comfort zone. All right. You know what? I think I have to charge my headphones. This is awkward. This no, you're good. Awkward. But yeah, to answer the question, like if, uh, yes, I can hear you. Did I lose Lucas? Did I lose Lucas? Can you hear me? All right. That's thing one, two, one, two, one, two. I think I lost you, Lucas. I'm, I'm still good. I'm still here. Oh yeah, you're still there. Yep. Good. So what what's the best what's the best career advice you got? Don't it, don't be afraid to exit your comfort zone. If something needs to be changed, uh, if you know you're kind of stuck in a rut, and I I was in that position for for a while. Uh, don't be afraid to do something wacky, do something different, just to change it up and see how it feels. Uh oh. Yeah. See what happens with this pitch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're I love that my pitches. Ooh. I love that this uh the game for this card gave me a sinker and I don't throw a sinker anymore. But I know it's a super effective oh. pitch in uh, MLB the show. I've got one hit, guys. He's got seven. Oh, 
Ooh. Oh my. Give it to me. 2-2. Two, two. You know, when it's going good for a pitcher, the umpire's got to kind of fall in line. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. You guys can hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't, th you, hey, you ain't throwing 100. I will one day. I'm getting stronger. All right. I think I'll hit 100 again at some point in my career. It's been a oh. very long time. He is schooling me right now. He is schooling me. Jeez. Mm -mm. Maybe I should lay down a bunt. Ooh. Someone in our chat wants to know, what's your favorite food to eat? Sushi. Yeah, it's got it's got to be sushi or like really good steak. There you go. Oh my god. That was a hittable pitch, Roflo. Jeez. That was a very hittable pitch. Good night. Uh you got to tell us someone uh let's see who was it that asked? Uh, oh, JS wants to know your thoughts on Garrett Crochet. Unbelievable talent. Most electric lefty fastball I've ever seen live in person. And I've seen Raldis Chapman pitch. Unreal. And he's oh. a beast. How? I don't know because like my PCI was not on that at all. Jeez. I mean, this Dar I've had really good success with this Darvish card in the past, and you were just knocking him all over the place. Yeah, he's still still out there in the fifth inning, though. Not bad. Oof. Oh, my God. That's the thing. Like, pitches down the middle, you're not hitting. Oh, my. It's because I move the PCI every time. It's like a reflex. I always pull it to a corner. Mm. Oh. oh, boy. Just going to fight oh that off. One, two. Hey. Ah. hey, we want to remind people that are watching this stream on the MLB Network page, you can subscribe to the MLB Network Twitch page. So while you're here, be, be sure to hit that, uh, that sub button. Also, uh, Lucas... Lucas's page, twitch.tv slash General Geo. Uh, be sure to subscribe to him if you're not already doing that. What? Well, that was weird. Oh, if I swung, that would have been good. I... Oh, my Lord. Oh, baby Mookie? Okay. All right. Well, um, Alrighty. we might be in a uh, a a, uh, a skunk situation here. A mercy rule. It is six to nothing. Jeez. Okay. Not enough juice on that Not one. Not enough. Uh, Ron in uh, in our chat wants to know. Now you mentioned you had to change your pregame routine because of. You know, the unusual conditions in which the games were played. But normally, what is your pregame routine? I mean, it's it's a lot. But the, the one thing I did have to change was I just had to kind of create more intensity in my bullpen before the game. Okay. Ooh. No, that wasn't a strike. No, it was not. So, like, before, like, when there are fans in the stands, there's a lot of people watching the starting pitcher warm up. Yeah. And you kind of use that to get to get into the in, get into like the feel and and the mindset uh to start a big league game but i remember opening day being out there and like we had all the ceremony and everything and it's just like empty and it's like you're throwing a bullpen like on an off day <laughs> i'm like oh man this is weird but yeah i mean my pregame routine I, it, it's a lot 
a lot of training room stuff, weight room stuff, like mental work before, meditation. Oh my gosh, I am so late on that fastball, dude. I am very late on it. Oh, there you go. Well, Adler, I, I am not sure if if uh, if the powers that be are going to have an, another MLB The Show Players League. Uh, Lucas, that was a very evil laugh you just gave, okay? I feel like I'm getting the full big league sequence treatment from you right now. On some of these, yeah. Oh. Mm. That curveball right there is a pitch I want to kind of reintroduce next season and use a little bit more. Yeah. What uh, was it a pitch that you just? How come you didn't use it as much as as you would like uh, this past season? It just it just takes a backseat to my changeup and slider. Yeah. Um. I I just need to do some work on it. Maybe change up the grip and and get a better feel for throwing it in the strike zone. Oh, that should be that should be far going farther. In Joey Gallo's glove in right field. I know, my goodness. All right, Byron Buxton. We are getting in. I mean, come on. I've got one hit, Lucas. One hit. <laughs> Jeez. Now you had mentioned earlier. No, go ahead. Oh, you're good. Go ahead. It went like when I play the uh, MLB the show. Like pro guys and content creators, they just wail on this '99 Giolito card. Like they'll they'll knock me out of the game in like the second inning. Well, I don't I don't know how these guys do it. They're so good. So what you're saying is that I am not as good as those guys. That's what you're telling me. That's what I'm well, hearing. That's what I'm we're, hearing. We're, we're just both we're just both MLB casuals, man. <laughs> but the problem is, is I play this all the dang time, like. Literally every night I'm streaming this game on my Facebook page. <laughs> so I don't know what that says about what I've been doing. I mean, clearly I've been wasting my time because... I just don't, I just don't think anyone has this card. I'm the only guy that has this card, so you're not used to facing it. Yeah, I mean, I, I tell you what, the, the fastball gets gets on you. It really does. You know what? Forget this. You're getting Rob Dibble. How about that? All right. Yeah, All right? throw your best because, oh he, this guy cheese yes because uh virtual lucas giolito is two for two with both with a couple of knocks oh uh, that could have been three for three Jeez. Oh my. uh what is your what what's the best thing i mean you're you're obviously in a pitcher's mound uh so under normal circumstances you're not really near the crowd but what is the the best thing or most memorable thing a fan has has ever said or or something that you know you heard going back to the dugout and you're like hey that's pretty funny or oh okay thanks a fan yeah um oh man i don't remember How it's about been this? so who long the best? That well that's true uh, under normal conditions who was you know, what is the one opposing fan base you really enjoy, you know, with the back and forth, you love playing against, you love kind of their vibe and, and you feed off of it? What What's the the opposing fan base that comes to mind? The Yankees. The Yankees. Yeah. Yeah, when I do like conditioning in the outfield and stuff, oh yeah. my, that's very fast. I do like conditioning the outfield and, and shagging BP. The, all the fans are out there, and they talk so much trash. It's hilarious. <laughs> all right. Oh, my gosh. You know, I was going to repurpose this video uh, and put it on my YouTube page, but uh, I, don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a wise move. I'm gearing up for the heater. <laughs> Hey, Terps of the Gifted sub the MLB Network. What up, Terps? Thank you. I definitely miss some subs. BPJ2234, Tier 1 sub. Thank you, thank you. The Raptor with the resub. And I think that's it. i got to do something because it's the bottom of the sixth, okay? And I've got one hit. I've got one hit. 
Uh, I saw you try to hit that corner. Oh, hold on. You saw. One second. Let me just type something yeah, in sure. here. Uh -oh. It's going to throw a pitch. No, you're good. I mean, hell, it, 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 you could put it right down the middle. That was right down the middle, and I could not do anything with it. I was late again. Well, Mets rock, I... Oh, there you up. go. Get up. I'm not going to get shut out, Lucas. Oh, oh, my God. What? Are you kidding me? That's brutal. That's so brutal. That is so brutal. <laughs> That is ridiculous, man. Come on. That's crazy. Absolutely. Guys that are asking questions in my chat, if you want to... Oh, my. I keep throwing heaters down the middle by accident. Oh, my Lord. No, you know what? It didn't, doesn't even matter. Bro, come on! Oh, my Lord. People that are asking questions in my chat, go to the squad stream, ask the questions in the MLB Network chat, so then Roflo can ask them, yeah. because it's hard for me to game and read chat and talk to Roflo at the same time, yeah. so we're just going to do two. Let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, okay. Although, anything to distract, uh, anything to distract Lucas right now, I'm in, I'm in favor of, so... I was so distracted. I threw. I like the game through like the last four pitches for me. Now I'm back to now I'm back to actually pitching. Chai Town Lou uh, Lucas did speak on on Lance Lynn. Um, he he. Uh, the thing that struck me about your comments about Lance was that you you said that you were eager to learn from him. How much of that goes on among you know teammates of fellow pitchers and and things like that. Oh, a ton, a ton. I, I've learned over the years that your best pitching coaches are the other pitchers on the team with you. Mm. Interesting. I mean, you're you're in it together. You know, guys in the rotation together. Oh, give me that one. No. But yeah, I mean, it goes on all the time. You know, we're, we're constantly like watching each other's bullpens, breaking down video, whatever it may be. Uh-oh. Oh, get up. Oh, come on. That's got to be out of here. That's got to be out of here. You son of a gun. That is <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Vadriz wants to know, he's a big Royals fan. Who's, mm. the, who's the toughest out for the, 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 uh, that you face in the Kansas City Royals? Ooh, I think Whit Merrifield. Two hit Whit. Oh yeah, I mean he's what he's led the league in hits. I don't know if how he did last year, but like the two previous seasons, I think he led the league in hits. Who do we got? Ooh, Kenley. Yeah. Jeez. Oh man, that see that cutter is like something else. Ninety six miles an hour. God. This is prime. This is prime Kenley. Yep. Uh, yeah, Chuck brings up a, a, a question because th this is something you've talked about in the past that you you used to use. I don't know if you still do. You would play MLB the show against the team that you were going to start against. Uh, you know, the following night. Do, is that something that you still do, or do you did you oh, only yeah. do it for a couple of times? No, no, no. I do it every start. It's okay. like part of my part of my routine. It's for it's for like committing the scouting report to memory and kind of like getting some visualization in. Throw it. Okay. It's like a bunt. I'm not worried about it. SBAM uh, wanting to know, any interest in playing in the World Baseball Classic? Oh, wow. I am not sure. It's, I'm not it's sure. Different. It's tricky for a pitcher, right? It, it is tricky for a pitcher because I'm so used to a certain, like a certain routine and, and a certain buildup throughout the off season. And last last off season, it kind of got messed up. I got the flu, uh, the regular flu, right? And 
uh, I had to like take some time off, and I came back, and I tried to ramp up too quick, and I ended up having a little a little injury right before spring training. We were able to take care of it pretty quickly and get back to 100. percent Yeah, but like that's that's the one worry is like you know you're trying to prepare for. Oh, oh this he went card, blue. This card is gross. Jeez. You're trying to prepare for like a championship caliber season with your team, and then you know it's really changing up the routine going and playing in the world baseball classic. So yeah. that'd be something I'd have to think about uh, a lot. You know what I think would be, Oh my God. Good night nurse. That's two Jeez. for Mookie. This is ridiculous. Now look, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something. This is real here. And I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to have to go full screen on my webcam here. I have played Lucas all right, I've played Brett Phillips. I've played Blake Snell. I've mm -hmm. played Amir Garrett. Mm -hmm. um, Trevor May. So you're the fifth, uh, Hunter Pence. You're the sixth Major League pair, player I've played in MLB The Show. I have never received a beating like this before. Never. <laughs> never. You're going easy on me, man. I mean, this is, it's embarrassing. I'm not afraid to t say it. I'm embarrassed. I think I've just ran into a couple. Uh, Imrod, my my YouTube, which uh, I need to post more, is uh, Your Dad's a Gamer is my YouTube page. So Herbs, I swear I haven't. The last time I played this game. Oh, man. When was the last time I played MLB The Show? I mean, was it the finals of the, of the, the Players played, League? Uh, no, no, no. The last time I played MLB The Show was when I did a YouTube video with your friend Kyle. Uh, oh, a Twitch okay. And YouTuber. I... This is crazy, man. It's unbelievable. It's 8 nothing. You've got 11 hits. And Giolito's going strong. 79 pitches in the 7th. I know. Ah. We're just going to go... No, 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 no. We're going to go here, here. And we're going to get him ready. And we're going to get him ready. <laughs> Casey uh, says in the chat, I feel a rage quit coming on. Yeah, I may just quit. <laughs> I may just rage quit. Oh, God. I'm go getting on. away with some, man. Oh, my God. I'm trying... Uh, because I've been so late on the fastball but then I'm late on us I'm just late on everything oh come on that was that was paint that was paint right there away that's the one right there hey beast marine says you need a five game series against Blake because you've gotten a lot better the, I don't think I could ever beat Blake Snell in this he he like he's really good at pitching, like making pitches look like strikes, but they're out of the zone. You can't really do anything with them. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, DeBurs wants to know how much how much contact do you keep? How much? Uh, how often are you in contact with your teammates during the off season? Pretty much every day. Yeah. I was texting with Dallas today. I was texting with TA today. Ooh, back foot slider. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh man. Man. come on, yeah. dude. This and is ridiculous. Perfect, perfect line out, baby. Mm. Oh, wait. Uh, you Do you guys open with, uh, with the Angels in 2021? I believe so. I think we open in uh, Anaheim. There you go. That'll be fun. Mike Trout right off the bat. Boom. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm about to have some internet issues. Definitely. <laughs> oh, my God. This is terrible. This is unbelievable. Jeez. I'm about to get shut out here. Eight nothing. Good lord. Uh, is are are you in Trout's book? Oh yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> What's it like facing I him? I don't remember if I've given up one home run to him or two. With Trout, it's like, I mean, you just got to make really good pitches, man. Like, he doesn't, he, he doesn't miss. You know, he's not the type of guy where it's like, oh, you know, I'm just going to throw heaters down the middle. Right. You know, you got to try and keep it in the right area and sequence correctly. Less room for error, I guess you could say. He's got that, you know, Dero, who's on our show, he always talks about, he's like, Trout swings with his abs. He's got the, yeah. you know? Yeah. I'm not a good, like, hitting mechanics guy. Oh, Oof, my God. There it is. Good that, Lord. That's the Luis Robert we know and love. Jeez. La Pantera, the Panther. He hit one like that in the uh, wild card series. Way farther, though. It was one of the furthest home runs I've ever seen, actually. What were your takeaways from the, uh, oh, my gosh. That was smashed. Dude, this is, this is ridiculous. Who was that? I don't know. Jim yeah, Anderson. You no, got L- L- L2. You yeah. got an L2. You might, I oh, mean, at I this can't. point, you might as well just L2 every homer. Jeez. Unbelievable. All right. Well, um, I don't know, Lucas, what you have planned for you the rest of the evening, but we are now playing a best of seven. So <laughs> I'm just letting you know. Okay. Come on. Great. Pito. Uh, no. Okay. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a one and done for me. I gotta make <laughs> dinner for me and my wife after this. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm put gonna, her, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna have to explain to her, uh, you know what what's at stake here. So, I'm sorry, <laughs> Mrs. Giolito, but uh, Lucas is gonna have to play uh, uh, five more games so that Robert can get some revenge. I I will give you a chance at revenge. We can play multiple times during the the rest of this off season. I'm down. I like that. I like that. Man, like I said, this is the worst beating I have ever received by a major league player, and it's it and it's not even close. I mean, Blake well, Blake time. beat me. Blake beat me in extra innings. Now, mind you, to uh, Blake beat me in extra innings. On yes, a home on a home run using his virtual card, so virtual Blake Snell took me deep. Oh, he hit a home run. Yes, he did. Oh, they call that a ball? Get out of here! Oh, that's a ball. Oof. Um, I've never hit a home run with myself in this game. I think it's really hard to hit a home run with a pitcher in MLB The Show. I it, it yeah, but I mean clearly you you've got two hits with your card. Oh my lord! Uh, what uh, chat, difficulty are we playing uh, on right now? Um, I, I believe this is All Star difficulty. Yeah, it's All Star. Cool. I am so late on these fastballs. No. Um, people want to know what's for dinner. Oh, I'll make it's Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. There you go. Yes, sir. I'm making. Uh, actually with ground turkey. I have some ground turkey I want to cook up and throw the taco mix in there. Look at you. Um, do you cook a lot? Is that something you like to do? Yeah, a good amount. I, I used to not cook at all. My dad is basically chef level cook. Oh. And so I grew up eating fantastic home cooked meals. And just now as I'm entering true adulthood, I'm, I'm like, you know what? I should start to mix that in more. Okay. So. Yeah, I've been I've been cooking a, a, a lot, especially like with all the free time uh, before last season and and now in the off season, making it happen in the kitchen. Oh my Ooh. lord, that was dotted. That was dotted. All right, look, I, I need contact here. Okay, so good of Hannes Wagner, I guess. Um, so who is the better cook? Uh, Thunder wants to know who's the better cook, uh, you or or your better half? She doesn't have time. <laughs> she's oh yeah, you mentioned she's working. Yeah, in veterinary school, veterinary like veterinary school. Yeah, 
Um, she actually, I, I'd say that like I make some things better, and she makes some things better. Oh, that's down the line. Oh, come on. All right, all right. Jeez. Oh, I thought that he would throw first, but whatever. Mm. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> Oof. I tell you what, man. I'm sure you've heard this before, but that short arm delivery. It makes the pitch seem like 10 miles per hour faster. I don't know if that if that's the way it plays in real life, but I think so. I just the way it plays in real life, it, I don't know if it makes the pitch look faster than it is. Uh-oh. Uh, oh, uh, come, on. come on. Like, dude, I am hitting balls right at people. And, and it's a mercy oh, rule. Mercy? Oh. Most, it is mercy rule. CG shuddy. Oh my god. That's ridiculous. Wow, chat. I, I, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say but GG's to Lucas Giolito. I Let's mean, get some GG's in the chat, everybody. Absolutely. Jeez. Wow. Uh, Lucas, yeah, next I'm, time I'm serious. Play, I, this play, is... This, what's that? Next time, we play, next time we play, throw me the uh, your, full, your best squad. Okay. Because I know Still, that you have you held yeah, back a little but bit. but here's the but here's the thing i mean yes i don't have my full complement of diamond players but uh, still i mean it, it wasn't even close it's not like i lost to you 6 to 3 you waxed me 10 to nothing so there Four is punchies in 8 innings two walks ooh let's go that's a lot of swing and miss look at what you did to poor you darvish nine hits Six earned. Oh my goodness. Jeez. Oh man. This is just very, very unfortunate. Hey, <laughs> Lucas, uh, tell people one more time how they can um how they can help out the cause and uh for, for kittens and, and things like that. Oh yeah. Exclamation point OKP in the chat. Uh basically Orphan Kitten Project. You can go to orphankittenproject.org. Uh, you can find them on Instagram at Orphan Kitten Project. Uh, that is a organization very near and dear to Oops. to me and my wife's heart. Let me see here. So, any support is appreciated. Whether you're following on social media or donating a little cash or anything at all, it's all very much appreciated. Well, very good. Um, you can remember you can find Lucas uh, at. Twitch.tv slash General Geo. Uh, Lucas, we appreciate you joining us, man. This was this was a lot of fun. Uh, you're obviously a very, very good player. Thanks for spending a little time with us. Uh, hopefully we can do it again sometime down the road. Absolutely. Yeah, it's this, this my, my pleasure to be here, Roflo, and, and I'm looking forward to playing again. All right. That's Lucas Giolito of the Chicago White Sox. Lucas, my best to uh, you and your family. Enjoy the holidays, okay? All right. Appreciate it. All right, so Thank that's going to do it, chat. Uh, what a what a shellacking. That was just, I mean, look, I, I, deserved, I deserve all of your scorn right now. That was ridiculous. Um, okay, so um, clearly I've got a lot of work to do, okay? And uh, I am going to do it more than likely on my own face. You can find my streams, facebook.com. Facebook.com slash Real Roflow. That's where I stream normally. But we'll be uh, doing some more streams here on the network and uh, try to take on other current big leaguers in MLB The Show. So you guys have a great one, and I will see you down the road. Thanks for watching.